Hey there guys, this is Reckless with one to buy gold and today we're gonna be looking at an add-on that I absolutely think every single one of you should have downloaded, uh, should have some familiarity with because it's it's really, really good. What is it? It's called Executive Assistant and pretty much it's a task manager or a, a to-do list. Yes, most of my guides are for gold making and I'm going to be showing you how to set this up. Uh, with a gold making example based on a video that I put out a week ago, but whatever you're doing You're on a grind and grinds are a lot easier when you do a little bit every day So one problem that this add-on has is uh, Feature creep if you just think about your base UI, you know, it, it, it'd be nice if we also had more uh, action bars. And you know what? It'd be nice if we had raid frames. And it'd be nice if we had damage meters. And it'd be nice. Pretty soon, you have uh, the, the raider UI from Burning Crusade where you, like, you can't see a damn thing. There's too, it's too complicated. With this add-on, lots of little options have been added, but you don't need to worry about it. But, you know, do, by all means, read through all the helpful hints and tips and uh, do the little get started intro that they have. Okay, so here we are on my happy little priest, uh, and we're going to set up executive assistant. This may not be the absolute best way to do it, but it's the way I use it, and it seems to work for me just fine. I love it. Anyway, the first thing you want to do before we actually uh, assign... Uh, lists and tasks and groups and all that stuff to our to-do list is we want to change the key binds because it's kind of, I don't know, this is just a personal thing, but uh, if you go and you click, you left click on this, it opens up the executive assistant, like, default thing here. I don't like that. So I go and I'm going to uh, disable this. We're going to clear open executive assistant main config and we're going to set that to instead open the task manager. And then we're going to add toggle task window display to the right mouse button. And then you're going to click finish. So what this does is when you right click on the window you can see in the top left there that uh, our, our list toggles on and off. And then if you want to add a new uh, a task, a new to-do item, then you just click on this button and it gets you set up. So uh, let's go through um, let's go through an example. Let's say uh, what are some groups of things we need to do every day? Auctions. We need to do pet farming. And let's say we also need to do like PV uh, gearing, PVE. There we go, PVE and gearing. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna minimize these, and we're just gonna work on pet farming because I think we can show. Uh, whoa, he's teleporting around. All right, uh, and up here you will see that the groups that we put in have loaded in. They're all zero percent uncompleted. So let's just do an example task and say this is an example task. Perfect. All right. So uh, let's close this and just look up here. So if you finish a task, you left click on it and it's good. You can also right click on this and what that does is, uh, if you right click on a task, it only shows you uh, the tasks that are unfinished. So this is nice if you've just got some easy stuff, but if you ever wanna see like what you've done and what you haven't done, then you have it in this view. If you wanna see just what you have left to do, because your goal is to have an empty to-do list, then uh, you have it in this view. Another cool thing you can do is if you right click if you right click on uh, the group, you'll see the little Z here, and that means it's a zoom group. Down here, this button shows all visible groups. This shows just the zoom group. So if you have a whole bunch of things that you need to do on every character, but you don't want to get overwhelmed, you just want to focus, knock out all the pet farming before you go on to gearing, 
then you click on this button with the little yellow bar on top, and you just have your pet farming to-do list. So uh, let's open up our task manager, and let's delete the example task. To delete it, hover over delete. You got to hold down shift, and then it's gone. OK, so uh, let's add a new task and name it. Uh, this I did a video on all these uh, tasks and like what my daily to-do list is. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's do four. All right, so Mother Rosala, UBRS. Uh, let's do uh, Molten Front, and let's show. So uh, for all these, and then uh, this is. I'll just type it in. Gosh, Blingtron 6000. So all of these I want to do on all of my max level characters, but uh, let's say I don't want to do any of the, like I don't want to see this list on my Bangtoon. So up here I can change the point of view that I see, like which, which characters list I'm seeing in the setup. So let's go to my Bangtoon. And let's say for this character, I want it enabled for all characters, but I want the pet farming group to be disabled for my bank tune. So then he's not going to see any of this list, and we can move on. Let's see. Uh, do I have any other bank tunes? I do, but let's not worry about that. You get the idea. Okay, so now let's look at task type. Uh, right now, all of these are set to daily automatic. Uh, which essentially means that whenever I load into a new character, uh, they'll see a blank slate. Uh, I can uh, click on, let's say I do Mother Rosla, Molten Front, uh, and Upper Black Rock Spire. When I load into a new character, those will not be completed yet. But let's say uh, I find a Blingtron and I click it. If I load into a new character, it'll tell me you have to do Blingtron again, but Blingtron you can only do once per account. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to an account-wide task. So then whenever I click it here, the other characters will already have it completed. And um, if we change our view here, yeah, let's, let's uncheck all these. And I'll show you if we change the view. We complete Mother Rosla, it goes away. Complete Molten Front, it goes away. Complete Blingtron, it goes away. But uh, they're all just hidden. All right, so uh, what else is something cool that I can show you guys? Uh, Mythic, let's say uh, every week I want to do my Mythic plus uh, 15 to get my cash. Now, uh, this is something that I don't want to do on every tune I can. I'm only trying to gear up like two or three tunes. So uh, let's say I only, for this task, I want it disabled. Wait, wait. Yeah, let's do, let's do for this task specifically. I want it disabled for all characters, but on Swippy, on Zul'jin, I want it enabled. And this is not a daily automatic task. This is a weekly task. Now, uh, this reset, if, if you don't want it to reset on Tuesday, you can go in and change that under the Executive Assistant tab down here. What's your uh, local time reset and what's your weekly reset day? You can change that based on... Uh, I don't know, whatever works for your server. Uh, and the final thing, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Uh, so let's add two more tasks. Uh, we're going to say the other thing I told you guys to do was the halls of flesh shaping, uh, which is the Throne of Thunder LFR wing with uh, Dark Animus in it. Um, this is a weekly thing to do, and I also told you to do the downfall of Garrosh Hellscream. 
and this is a weekly automatic. Uh, and let's say I only want to do this on three tunes. So it's going to be disabled for most characters, disabled for most characters, but for um, Reckless, it'll be enabled for Swippy, it'll be enabled. There we go. Enabled. Oh god, I can't click. Okay. So, that's set up, that task is set up, and now it'll be super easy to log back and forth between characters and make sure every week we do this. But, uh, let's say you don't want just this list. You want it broken up into what you need to do every day and every week. Like, you don't want to see Halls of Flesh Shaping all day because you might get overwhelmed by it. So let's do uh, add a group. You can't change these into uh, groups, but you can reorganize things. So we're going to add a group and call this daily, and then we're going to add another group and call this weekly, and then let's delete this task, and let's delete this task, and then we will uh, reorganize. And so for here, we're going to pick up this, and we're gonna pick up this, and we're gonna put it, put it down there. Oh, you can't pick up two at the same time. Well, today I learned. All right. Uh, so then we'll pick up this and put it down and it put it from just the pet farming parent group into the daily subgroup. Pick up, put down, pick up, put down, pick up, put down. And yeah, this is like a little cumbersome, but uh, it you can do it. But hopefully you can see that, like, yeah, there's lots of information and lots of stuff you can do, uh, but there's lots of different little idiosyncrasies with any task that you're trying to get accomplished. So uh, let's show you guys uh, this in action. Okay, so I asked in trade chat for a Blingtron 6000 so I could show you this off, and someone put one down. That's nice of them. All right, so, uh, come on, knock off Blingtron, let's go. No, no, never lucky. All right, but we did it. So, uh, I'm going to turn off uh, show incomplete, or I'm gonna only show the incomplete items, and then we're going to move on. Okay, so just finished Mother Rosala. I'm gonna try to get a little bit extra imp meat if I can while I still have. Nope. No imps available. But, alright, so we're gonna click Mother Rosala complete. And so we have Blingtron and Mother Rosala complete. Let's move on over to another character. So here I am on my Demon Hunter, and as you can see, uh, Mother Rosala is. Blingtron. Why is Blingtron showing? That's, that's not, that's set, damn it. Yeah, no, it's set to account when one character completes a task. It shows it's completed for all, why isn't it? All right, I, I'm clearly still a scrub at this, but you get to see that like on a new character, everything is up, but you will see as you go along here that like, oh, you know what? I have um, a, uh, I need to make a new task for, my demon hunter to craft the male 
the the craft the legion legendaries because I can do that once a week. So you'll you'll start to get used to thinking of unique things. And you know what? I want this disabled for all characters, but only enabled for this character. And you know what? I want to enable it also for my blacksmith. Where is he? There we go. Let's enable this for my blacksmith. All right. So that one is set up now. Cool. And one final thing before I go, thank you to everyone who kind of sat through this whole uh, little little intro to the add-on. Uh, I like to use the to-do list as more of a reminder to log into my bank tunes. Like once I'm logged on to my bank tune, there's only one thing I'm gonna do. But if I haven't logged on, I might forget to go post items. So uh, I'm going to the way I do this is I set up Zuljin. All right, and then I make a new task called Tanaris, and I'll make one for Boulder Fist. And okay, that's good enough. And we set each task as an account-wide task, uh, so we're reminded uh, to log in to uh, the bank tunes on all these servers. So that's how I use that. Um, that's it. That's enough. I think that's a good intro for you guys. Uh, go use this. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope this helped. It's an awesome add-on. Other than that, uh, subscribe if you haven't liked the video. And uh, that's all I got. So have a great day. Good luck and happy gold making.